My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we've got a box. And inside this box is a LED light. So let's uh, dig into this and we'll be doing an install tonight. Okay, this thing is massive. Uh, so, a little bit of background on this. My landlord sent uh, this light out to us. I asked if I could install it. Uh, he agreed. Uh, so I didn't order this. This is what they sent. Um, and this is a lot bigger than what's there currently. We've got some screws. We've got some gloves. We've got this ginormous light fixture. So we've got the, the lens piece, I guess, the frosted piece. And we've got some instructions and our LEDs. So uh, if you're a subscriber to the channel, long-term subscriber to the channel, You'll know my luck with these LED lights has not been great. Uh, my first light was an oval kitchen light I installed, replaced some old fluorescent lights, and put it in, about a year later, it went kaput. The LED driver inside went bad, this guy right here. This LED driver went bad on that light. I reached out to Hampton Bay through Home Depot's warranty program. They sent me a new LED driver. I've got a video of both the install as well as the LED driver replacement. Um, if you want to check out those videos. So in today's video, we're again replacing another LED light. Now, this LED light is newer. Hopefully they've worked out some kinks. Uh, unfortunately, our roof had some damage and uh, we had some water leaking through and it got into that light. So I'm gonna say that's the reason that this light in the kitchen, we'll show you in a second, is needing to be replaced. So we'll go ahead and uh, install this for you and we'll go from there. Looks like this little wire just pops down through this little grommeted protector. We go up to the ceiling side, and then we've got a little pigtail to plug in wherever we need. Um, it's a 48 watt fixture, 6500 Kelvin, which is nice, it's on the, the bluer side or the daylight side. Um, I'm not sure how many LEDs or how many lumens we've got. 600 by 50 millimeters, that means we've got 600 LEDs. That sounds like a lot. Probably 80 to 100 LEDs. I have no clue where my landlord ordered this from, but there's not a lot of description. It doesn't come from like a Home Depot box. It's just like a box from China or something. So, number one step, safety. We're gonna turn off the power. <clears throat> That'll give us an opportunity to use our Klein Tools uh, non-contact voltage tester. I did a separate video on the Klein Tools if you're interested. Um, this stuff's great for testing power. So we'll flip off the breaker. We will use this to see if the power's gone. And then we will disconnect the old light, remove it, and then set up the, the new light, making sure our, our anchor bolts are in place, and then install our new, new light. Okay, here's our old fixture. As you can see here, here's some of the repairs from the water damage. So uh, the water was leaking from that seam, but it also came into this light. And I uh, must have made some damage here. I did open this up and air it out. It did have condensation in here pretty bad. Um, so I'm sure that's part of the reason it failed. This is a 24 watt. I think this new one's a 48 watt. So maybe a more output. They are Kelvin on there. I don't see our Kelvin rating. But we've got, and these wires could be live. So I need to be careful with that. So we've got power coming in, going in there. Switch on. Look, they are lit up. So we got some lights working in there. So some circuits gone bad. Yep. First thing we do is find our breaker. Right here we got lights, number nine, and kill it. We'll double check and see if this hot's on. So the hot's dead. We've got none coming out of here. So I'm going to unscrew these. It looks like they've got a little screw holding those in. Maybe. 
Okay, I've got a little tiny like gun cleaning screwdriver. I'm going to snap some photos. This looks like just a normal wood screw. We've got a sheetrock screw here. We'll see if it's in a... I only really have two screws in here. We've got some double-sided tape in here. Oh, he's got a big old hole. That's cool, y'all. Seems we're gonna push them all through the same tiny hole. Okay. No sparky sparkies, that's always cool. Okay, so cool. So we got just a floating sheetrock here. So we had, I'll have to double check my pictures, but we had white to white, ground to ground, and then hot to the gray. Okay, we'll tip you back a little bit. We've got a peak right there we're trying to center this with. Okay, I think we can actually remove this blue and the, the brown. We just press that tab in, press down, pull, pulls right out. It says L-O-N. So we got the middle one there is ground. It says L and N. Neutral and live. A little confusing. I'm gonna look up the colors and see what the internet says on the colors. Okay, we've got the same thing over here. We've got neutral with the N coming on the white and the L I'm assuming is for live on the gray. So I'm gonna just rely on this. Um, Oh look, we got L O N on there. Or the L the O actually has a ground symbol on it. Flip the breaker on again. Oh, let there be light. Yeah, I'll diffuse it enough. That'll be great. Just use the same tactics they did before. Wood screw and the sheetrock. At least we know we got one good one here. Two more screws, one in the center here. This is a center hole for, it has another grommet there. We still recording? Okay, not sure how well you will see it. Um, Power is still off, but this, this little thing is just being a bugger. We're gonna try and push it up here again. Um, it, you know, it's not like this is being moved like it would on a vehicle. But the last thing I want is there to be metal on metal contact and cause a short, start a fire, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna use this little tiny screwdriver, try and push that grommet back into place. Come on, get in there. Whew. I'm getting sweaty in here. It's not going in. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave the way it is. I'll turn this on. Okay, bring in here a closer look here. You can see we've got these tabs. You just press down and pull on the wire. They pull right out. Obviously these are live right now. So there's that grommet. Had a real hard time getting that in there. I think they'll be okay. Not too worried about it. And then we've got one wood screw there. We got one up in there. We got another wood screw there. And then this was the screw that was actually mounted correctly in the sheetrock. It's kind of a weird spot, you know, it's not really above the sink, you know, it's off, off to the right, but it'll lighten up this kitchen a lot. Um, it made a big difference when it went out. Here's our big old sheet, we'll go ahead and put it in here. Not sure how this is going to go. I have no clue how you get this out when you're in the future. We're in. So that light is massive compared to what was there before. I think it's like twice the size. We'll go ahead and pull the tape measure and give you a comparison. This old one is 14 inches. The new one is uh, 
24 inches about, 23, 24, somewhere in there. It's probably advertised as a 24 inch. It looks okay. Nothing crazy, nothing too fancy about it. Okay, I did look up the link. Um, one of these on my camera uh, came up as a 89.99 light on Amazon. Uh, LED sling light made in China. It's 48 watt and a few different options with it. We can get different uh, 20 watt, 28, 36, and 48 watt. We got warm white, daylight white is the one that this came up under. So I'm sure it's one of those 6500 Kelvin is, is daylight. Warm white would be uh, probably 2500 or 3500 Kelvin. Uh, this one might be dimmable. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'll throw a link to the Amazon as well. Thanks for watching this installation video on this LED kitchen light. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. What they sent, um, and this is a lot bigger than what's there currently. So it looks like, oh boy. It looks like we're making a mess. <laughs>